Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Swedish aircraft video. This is the B-18B, which is the 3.0 follow-up to the 2.7 B-18A. And the most obvious difference, if you've seen them, is the inline engines now instead of the radials on the B-18A, as you can see right here. There you go. So... But big radials on the uh, B-18A, and that's the most obvious external difference. And then, then when you go back to the B-18B, you can see some big big inline engines there. And then another big difference on the B-18B, which is not as apparent in initial looking at, is if you go to the modifications, there's an awful lot of ground loadouts. My goodness, are there ever. You've got some really big rockets here. You've got some... Uh, Lots of little rockets. You've got lots of combination of bombs and rockets. So we'll get into those a little more as the uh, video progresses. I'm looking forward to... This one's kind of fun. Two 600 kilogram bombs and two of the biggest rockets. That might be an interesting, uh, interesting load out there. And then there's a few others that look pretty interesting. I don't know that that will be the most useful bomb load for... Uh, either air rb or uh tank rb battles but we'll see there's there's some pretty interesting pretty interesting loadouts here so we'll get into those um as far as the rest of the modifications you've got the same offensive 13.2 millimeter machine gun pointing forwards you've got uh the two defensive machine guns in the back again so really i mean the big difference is the engines and the uh, weapon loadouts so there's not much else to talk about. If you didn't see the B-18A video, probably watch that first so you can compare the two better. And apart from that, we'll take a look at the X-Ray quick and then we'll uh, get this thing into some battles. So armor, there's the same bit of armor underneath the uh, bomb bay and the pilot and uh, crew stations. X-Ray is very similar as well, just obviously the engines are different shape because they're liquid-cooled instead of air-cooled. And there you go. Three crew members, same as on the B-18A, and same bomb bay layout, same initial bomb loadout as well, with uh, 18 50-kilo bombs. Eight out here on the wings and another 10 in the bomb bays. So I am going to fly the first thing, but if I don't get any particular, like air-to-air -air combat in and i just do bombing zones i'm not going to show that initially just because we already know from the b18a that the initial bomb load of 1850 kilo bombs will destroy a bomb zone so the first battle i may not show you until i get a battle with some actual like air-to-air -air fighting whether i go offensive after somebody or i get a bunch of fighters chasing me and either shoot them down or do some damage whatever so it may not necessarily be the first Bat, the first fly out in this thing that I get although I will probably show you just so you can see the stock performance but I'll probably cut a lot of it and just be like here's the stock performance here's how it initially climbs here's the bomb drop and then move on so either I won't show the first battle at all or I will just show um very trimmed down bits so without any further intro let's get to that first battle Okay, we have a little bit of packet loss happening here, so we'll see what happens. This is the first battle, so we'll see how it goes. Um, it's Poland, which is actually kind of nice, because there is an absolute ton of things to bomb. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Let's see if we can actually put these bombs accurately enough to kill a light pillbox. Two away. My guess is probably not, but we'll see. I'm gonna go with no. Dropped four there, let's see what happens. Yeah, okay. Alright, so the bombs are not enough to take out a light pillbox, that's fine. Yes, 190. Come get me. You can do it. Be brave. Be brave, 190. You can get me. Come on. Come on, guys. You can do it. And we'll just go after this 109, I guess.
Heard it is right wing. Now it's time to get low. Very low. Ah, oh, come on. Well, there we go. We got our bombs. We lost. Oh well. All right. We got these here rockets. Look at them babies. This could be a lot of fun. They're high explosive too. They should be um, pretty entertaining actually. We got 12 of them. Presumably they fire in pairs. And I would assume they don't fire one from each set of racks so there's four launches. It's got to be six launches of two. But we'll find out. I may fire the first pair into a zone. Just to uh see what we can do and then the other nice little bit is we still got the three 250 kilos in the internal bomb bay so it's a nice little nice little load out here well here goes nothing oh <laughs> Just passed him. Oh, it fires the wing ones, and then afterwards it fires the chin mounted rockets. That's interesting. Alright, here we go. Couldn't quite get the nose where we needed it. Yeah, that's fine. Led way too much speed in that climb. That's okay. That's alright. We'll catch him. Took some climbing, but I got up to this 111. <laughs> I like this guy, this is fun. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, airplane, you can do it. Stay on him. Lead. Okay, come on, lead him.
Oh, got his tail. Alright. Fine. Got his tail control. Let's get back home and land with one engine. Well, he lost his tail. He'll be going down eventually. Only have 39 forward firings. It's not a lot. Let's see what we can do against the other one. 111 here. Got a hit on him. That's it. Where's our friend, the. There he is. have it boys on, do something good to him can't do too much more maneuvering definitely limping home on one engine he seems to have decided better I don't think we're going to make it all the way home though we're in pretty bad shape right now. Oh my god. So this is what happens when you go full power with only one engine that's working and the other one's burned out. This might be one of the best things I've ever seen in this game right now. This might actually be one of the best things I have ever seen. <laughs> oh my god! Did you guys know Sweden invented the first auto gyro? They just didn't quite perfect it. Oh my god, this is possibly the dumbest thing that's ever happened in War Thunder, and that's, that is saying something. Uh, let's see what happens if I kill the engine. Hey! There's the HE-111 shot down. Oh, okay, well that was rather anticlimactic. Yep. Yeah. That's funny. Stupid, but funny. Hey, look at that. How about that now? Let's see what we got here. So we got the compressor. That's nice. One we don't have to go get. 3,998. Okay. Now we'll take the radiator and we'll take the fuselage repair. And we'll take the offensive ammo. And then we'll start looking at better rockets and bombs. Okay. So we had a little trouble getting up to altitude, so I'll go after the engine shortly. But I wanted to get new rockets, really. So, okay. On to the next battle.
Okay, the bombs are away. The rockets will be following. There are the bombs. I think we're safely within range. Let's see what that does. Wow. Okay. Bombs will be hitting shortly. Alright, it's not quite enough to fully destroy a base. That's all three bombs plus all twelve of the rockets. It's just not quite not quite enough to finish it. That's good to know. We're gonna head back, we're gonna land, we're gonna rearm. There were no bombers. I was basically looking for bombers to uh go after with the air-to-air, -air, well, not the air-to-air -air rockets, but in order to fire rockets air-to-air, -air, but there weren't any, so we'll go land, we'll rearm, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, the new engines make a massive difference to the climbing ability of this thing. I got up to 17,000 feet with really no trouble at all. Just barely overheated the water. That's pretty good. Can't see anything out there because it's all clouds, but that's okay. So we're going to make the bomb run. As I don't see any bombers again, they're probably just low in the clouds, which is fine. But as I just got the 600 kilogram bombs instead of the 500 kilogram bombs... With the previous load, with rockets remaining the same, I want to see if the 600 kilo bombs are enough to take out the base in one drop. So we're going to do that quick. Which means all this lovely altitude we've climbed up to at 18,000 feet, we're going to drop. But we'll go chasing after that guy later. He's not going to get too far. If he still exists. I would love to go fire my rockets at him, but I want to do this for test and experimentation and video purposes. Okay, so. Easy airplane. Two bombs away. Two. Level off. Let those babies fall away. And down we go. 7,000 feet is close enough. Rockets away. So we know what damage the rockets will do. A little more than half. Now it's a question of... Yep. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. So the upgrade of the 600... Two 600 kilogram bombs as opposed to two 500 kilogram bombs with the 12 rockets is enough to completely destroy a bomb zone. So for grinding purposes, or if you just don't have any bombers to go after with your rockets, you can go hit a bomb zone for some module grinding. It sounds like we've got an enemy fighter nearby. We'll be diving away now. That's not great. Hey gunners, get your shit together. his oil or something. He's going to press on the attack, it looks like. Hit him again. Might have chased him off. He's fallen behind. Might have picked his engine off. We're gonna keep running for home. I think we might have successfully fended off that Spitfire though. He's fallen way behind. I must have got his engine.
So that Spitfire made it home and landed. I got the critical hit notification, which generally indicates somebody that you critted their engine made it home and safely landed and didn't crash, so I did not get the kill. But it must have got his engine or his oil. Anyway, we lost because they actually bombed out our airfield, so that's actually sort of hilarious. But we finished the 13.2 mil belt, so maybe the next time we get a Spitfire on our tail and get him some plink damage in the engine, we can actually take him out. So let's, uh, choices, choices. Wings repair for the research bonus, or rockets for the ability to uh, upgrade the ammo. We're going to upgrade the ammo and then put the rest into wings repair. Okay. All right, so we got those new rockets, and uh, let, me, let me just ask, is anybody calling these tiny Tormans yet? Because they certainly look like they're going to be Giant's Bane if we uh, hit a mouse or something similar with it. M6, A1, T10M, you know, whatever. Those things are hilarious, look at them! Combined with the two um, 600 kilo bombs hidden right up there behind them, this is a pretty hilarious bomb loadout. So if I get the opportunity to go after a bomber, I will, but what I'm primarily hoping to do here is uh, put the rockets into a bomb zone just to see how much blast damage they do. Oh dear. Okay, the uh, rockets on base experiment is going to have to wait. <laughs> My bad, boys. I <laughs> did not know where those rockets were going to go. It was worth a chance. God, I wish I still had the 12 rockets, though. That would have been glorious. Twelve rockets would have been the way to go there. Alright, let's get rid of these bombs for weight purposes. Dump these babies off and get after those HE-111s. This guy's hitting me at 1.4 kilometers away. Come on now, Gaijin. What is that? <laughs> well, found their, found their team. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Got him. That's not bad. That's going to be a tasty little sum of uh, modification research. So, yeah, that battle was all right. We will we will figure out. I'm going to take the um, I'm going to take those tiny Tormans out into uh, test flight real quick just to see what the ballistic trajectory is like on them, so I can actually use them a little better. Okay, well that actually should that's going to nearly spade us out. Very nearly. So there we go. Just about finished. 
So those are some low velocity rockets. <laughs> yeah, they drop. They're big heavy things. They're cool. But boy do they drop. Okay, let's speed this airplane out. <laughs> you boys think you're gonna catch me? Nah, son. <laughs> Not one of them. Come on. Nice, I got no gunners left. There we go, got him. Got him. Got no no gunners left though. Both gunners are out. Oh well. Got him. Well there we go. Spade it out. I did end up picking that guy off and then just he did enough damage that I couldn't couldn't keep it aloft, and there we go. 1,280 for the T-18B1. That'll be the next one. Okay, so closing thoughts. I uh, didn't get the chance to get an actual rocket kill with anything. These things, you got to be so close to the target to use these. These will look like they'll be a lot of fun for tank battles. But boy, they are short-range rockets. Even that last battle where I dove in and fired them, I thought I had fired them close enough, and they still dropped low. They both did damage to the base. But they're basically not even worth using to damage a bomb zone. They did practically nothing. And the two 600 kilograms actually destroyed a base on their own. So you can totally finish the uh, finish a base with just the 600s. For some reason, the two 500s plus the 12 rockets weren't enough. But the two 600s are enough on their own. So do that math, I guess. It's based on the explosive mass of the bombs, not the actual total bomb weight themselves, so I, I get it, but... Anywho, this was a fun airplane to fly as well. Um, once it's spaded, you can make it up to 20,000 feet before the engines redline, temperature-wise. So, for those of you who aren't able to Google, that's over 6,000 meters. And uh, that was pretty sweet, getting up that high without even the uh, engine... It was the water temp that overheats first, so... You get up to 19,000 feet, and just barely, or it's almost, it was nearly 20,000 feet. It was 19,900 or something like that. And uh, then you just back off the engines to 100%, turn off WEP, and go back to 100%, and they cool off again at that altitude, so not bad at all. You can get up there pretty high pretty quickly, and then you, you don't even, you're not even stall climbing when you do it either, so. Um, as far as all the bomb loads... I don't know if I particularly like this one. The bombs are very good. The rockets will be good for probably direct hitting a tank. I mean, the explosive 
Explosive mass is five and a quarter kilograms for these rockets. That's not bad at all. But if you look at the velocity, velocity difference, it's not that much different velocity between the uh, these giant rockets and the M fifty one rockets right before them. But it's they drop off hugely so because they're so big and heavy. So that's really the difference is the weight, the overall weight of the rocket really drags them down. But they're funny to use, and I'm sure if we get the chance to uh, actually make a diving attack and fire straight down onto um, a capture point that's being taken over by enemy tanks once uh, tank battles are up for Sweden, that's going to be pretty hilarious, and I look forward to doing that. But anyway, that takes care of the B-18B. We'll see you all in the next video. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, good luck in 1.97. It should be coming out. Well, it's probably already out by the time this video goes up, but either way. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. There we go. Didn't quite get on him. <laughs>